So food's out. No sign of the sheep. But I'd say they're at the far end of the orchard. I'm closing the gate because uh, I don't want the fastest to get there first. Hey girls! Hello! Come on girls! It's a very frosty day. You can see their sugar-coated sheep. You have sugar coating on your fleeces. Hey, Time, how are you? Come on, ladies, let me through. Brindle, leave it. There we go. Java. Come on, Java. We gotta go do hay stuff. Come on, Java. He says, but I want some sheep food. I love sheep food. I want sheep food. <laughs> you coming? Come on. Come on. Good boy. It being several degrees below zero, I have to check the water. Now the walls might have retained heat. Oh good, it's not very dark, uh, very frozen. See, for the first few days of this deep freeze, the walls will retain heat to keep this ice from getting too thick. As the days progress, that heat will leave the wall and I will have ice to deal with, hence the ax. And all the sheep are now coming back. Hey, Giddy, how are you? Okay, I've got to go empty the rest of this round bale for the sheep because they're all following me now. They ate their food very quickly because uh, I had to go back down and get the ax. So this is going to be a spreading job. I'll probably spread this bit of hay and put a bit more in the hay racks in the lean-to. But I'm gonna do this one first and then all the sheep can be over here in the sunshine. Beautiful sunny. And there's enough hay here that should last them another day and a little bit extra in the shed. And then tomorrow I'll unwrap that and start using that. But today it's about unwrapping this. What are you doing? You're gonna knock the phone down. You're such a cat. He's going to unlock you as well.
Hey guys. They're all spreading out. I only have a little pile left. And others are there. And others are over near the water. I've got to spread that, but they're enjoying it here.
you cold? Yeah, it is very cold for dogs with skinny hair. I'll tuck you in. So, this is what I do with Inca. I tuck her in. <laughs> so she's lovely and cozy. She's got my body heat and the wool that I'm in. So she gets warm. <laughs> yes. Look at that sun. Woo! I love cold, crisp, sunny days like this. They're magnificent. Just magnificent. Love them. Okay. Now to walk back amongst the sheep. They actually have plenty of hay. So I don't have to, uh, I'm not gonna put any out in the shed. So they have enough till tomorrow and then I will uh, put more out tomorrow. There's loads of hay. Cause I have, there's, this is two thirds of the flock and then the other third is in the shed. So it's not the full complement of sheep here in the orchard. It's so beautiful with the sun. Now, as we all know, when ice forms in a body of water, it expands. So it'll push out against all these walls that are solid in stone and concrete, okay? So, to prevent that from weakening the wall, what I do is put in a tire. Now, Bear, mind yourself, this is going to make a bit of a splash. Okay, so the tire, come on, go in there, tire. The tire needs to be on the edge needs to be where it will be so that the ice can expand into that and not be a solid mass and the bucket of stones and old pots prevent it from moving actually I'm going to move it to be more in the center of the wall there so that is to prevent these over time. It won't happen the first year, but if I didn't do that, over the subsequent years, there would be a weakening in one of these walls that would turn into a leak. So this is long-term traditional preventative medicine for old stone troughs. Isn't that right, Kitty? Yeah. Oh, I gave you a fright. I didn't mean to give you a fright. So that, uh, I'll still have to come and break the ice. So I need my Lizzie Borden ax to help either hammer or ax break the ice. You can see it's a very dull blade because this is my ice ax. Hey kitty. Yeah, I know, I know. Okay, sheep done. Some of them think I'm gonna be doing some more food or something. Sorry. That's Kestrel. She always is looking for a little bit extra. That's Kestrel right there. Okay, come on, let's go. Gotta break ice with the horses.